Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, not one of my more uh, impressive feats, but I'm going to be making a heck of a lot of kits. I just have to find the time with this custom board. This custom board allows for me to uh, customize my uh, kits very quickly uh, and basically build my pr whatever project comes to mind extremely quickly because I can, I've got my programmable chip and I've got a relay option. Uh, I've got a buzzer option, a prototyping area that I'm actually using here, uh, 8 LEDs for uh, an 8-bit AD, 8, 8 ADC, uh, 16 I.O. ports, uh, input, 5-volt regulator, optional two buttons. Anyway, so what I've done here is I've created a stepper motor driver circuit. The stepper motor is a 5-wire stepper motor. It's hooked up on to a, uh, to a driver board that I've put, placed into my prototyping area. I've taken the four bits and I've hooked them into... Uh, my my port input uh, outputs, so I'm going to step it in uh, full step forward and full step backward backwards mode or full step reverse mode, just by turning on the uh, just by turning on the power. There we go. Very very fine stepping. So I'll stop, and uh, as soon as I let go of the button. Now I'm going to have this, uh, I'm going to come up with some neat ideas for this. I might make a uh, century that goes back and forth and back and forth and puts a motion sensor on the top. I had something before, if you're interested, search my uh, search my channel for Gertrude. You'll really get a kick out of that circuit. It's a neat little, it's a fun little robot circuit that I made. Uh, and it's a century. It looks around and when it sees you it goes pew, 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 and a little laser on the back and ignites. It's really a novelty, but uh, I can turn this into a century, century really easily. And... Uh, the, the fine stepping makes things really easy, and it's actually consuming very little current. I was thinking, uh, I, I made a uh, servo uh, solar tracker circuit recently, and I liked it, but I didn't like... I, I'm not a big fan of servo motors, and uh, what I'm, you know, I was thinking, I can, I can work with this so easily, and with much less code, and uh, easily easily make a solar tracker with this put the solar panel on top and easily save a ton of power easily save and store a bunch of power on on a some super capacitors for instance anyway uh, very simple circuit nothing to it it took me about uh, about an hour to program it about 15 minutes to put it together and um, I'm just going to turn it off for a second so I can show you the bottom very simple uh, and easy to put, yeah, easy to put together. Actually, funny story. When I built it, I programmed. I was wasn't even really thinking straight. I programmed six wire, six wire, six wire, um, full step mode and and back step mode. And uh, it's funny because it worked, but it was very finicky and it it consumed three times as much power. And now, if you're familiar with stepper motors, you you'll, you'll probably know why that is. Um, but anyway. Yeah, it was fun to build. I wanted to share with you. If you can think of some ideas that I could I could use this for, let me know, and I'll try to make some kits for it. Uh, I really like these stepper motors because it's really really fine stepping, You're really really precise. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check us out at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com, which will take you to our eBay store. We've got tons and tons and tons of great stuff coming. Uh, I'm hoping to have at least 60, 70 new products within the next uh, six weeks. But lots of stuff coming very, very, very soon, so check us out. Thanks for watching, guys.